Hey up everyone, welcome to the Ruby League History channel. Tonight is the 2022 Neville Glover Award video. The Neville Glover Award has been part of the Ruby League History Band since 2016 and is named after Neville Glover, the former Parramatta winger who made 121 appearances for the club between 1975 to 1981, scoring 54 tries. Glover also played for Australia and New South Wales, but however, he is best remembered for dropping the ball over the line in Parramatta's 976 grand final loss to Manley, which would have won them the game. Some say the pass was too hard from John Moran, some say Glover dropped the ball over the line. I'll let the audience decide which one of them is correct. But the award, as I mentioned, goes to the player who has the biggest bomb try in the NRL final series. It can be the grand final, it can be the qualifying final, it can be the elimination final, it doesn't matter. Also, I'd like to make a disclaimer before starting the award. This is no way an attack on Neville Glover himself. Personally, he was a very good player. However, the majority of fans remember Neville Glover for this moment. There's a lot of people out there that think that, like the Paul Cabbage Award, that I'm attacking the player personally. In no way am I attacking either Paul Carriage or Neville Glover personally. In fact, Paul Carriage and Neville Glover know this awards that I do and both of them don't really seem to have a problem with it. I've had no direct messages from them, even though there have been people that have told me that they've shown them the videos and they've had a bit of a laugh at it. Even Neville Glover himself says that pretty much once a week, ever since that grand final in 1976, he gets reminded of that bomb try and he just laughs it off. With the 2022 Neville Glover Award though, as opposed to other years where I have numerous nominations and numerous stories to cover from bomb tries over the final series, this year players in general have actually been well behaved when it comes to scoring tries. There's been actually there's only one nominee this year for the Neville Glover Award. There's no other bomb try that I could see over the final series. All the other teams and players, except for this unfortunate player, managed to convert their chance at scoring a try. So this is going to be probably the shortest Neville Glover Award video that I've done since it's transferred over to YouTube. And this is probably one that I think most people can guess is going to be the Neville Glover Award winner for 2022. But I will be revealing that very, very shortly with uh, maybe a drum roll involved. So, the 2022 Neville Globby Award goes to... Drum roll, please. <laughs> Micah Sivo. Micah Sivo is the 2022 winner of the Neville Glover Award for his bomb try in the 2022 NRL Grand Final against Penrith. Yes, the game was pretty much already over. Yes, it was 2020, it was 22 nil, I should say, after 56 minutes. But Mike Sivo had a chance to at least give Paramount a some glimmer of hope in that second half against Penrith. In the 56th minute, the ball went out to him. He got around his man. All he had to do was just crash over the line and score. He was tackled by Stephen Crichton and for some reason or another he dropped the ball over the line and that pretty much ended any hope of Parramatta getting back into the grand final. It wasn't too long after that that you had the Simonson incident and then you had the Steens try to make it 28-0. So Mega Civil is a 2022 Neville Glover Award winner. And now we look back at the Roll of Honour for the Neville Glover Award and the inaugural winner in 2016 with Edric Lee for that preliminary final match against Melbourne. 2017 was Suliasi Vunavalu in the preliminary final. 2018, Sean Johnson in the elimination final. Cody Walker, 2019 preliminary final. Josh Mansua and Kurt Keatwell, joint winners of the Neville Glover Award in 2020 and that were in the preliminary final. Patrick Herbert in the 2021 elimination final. Goal coast against the City Roosters. And this year, Mike Sivo in the grand final against Penrith. And the retrospective winner of the Neville Glover Award 
was Anthony Mundine, 1999 Grand Final. So anyways, everyone, that has been the Neville Glover Award for 2022. I think that this is probably the shortest Neville Glover Award I've ever done. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you uh, agree with the winner. And let me know of your thoughts about the video in the comment section below. And let me know your thoughts on the channel. There's a big couple of week coming up on the Rugby League History Channel. We've got the Match Day Vlog tomorrow that I'll be filming. Because I'll be going to England against Samoa. at St James Park. And then we've got also the Rugby League YouTube End of Season Awards. Which should be coming out next week on the Monday. We've got the... View from the North podcast on the Wednesday, me and Just Rugby League for another episode of that. And then next Sunday, I'll be going to Tonga against the Cook Islands at the Riverside Stadium in Middlesbrough. Another World Cup vlog. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, everyone, this has been Rugby League History. I'll catch us all later. Tatty bye for now.